calling on one of its early heroes, Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown, angered Tea Partiers and Republicans by voting with the Democrats to pass a financial reform bill Thursday. Now the Tea Party is taking to the internet, slamming Senator Brown for coming for becoming part of the quote. Washington Machine. Joining me now via Skype, Shelby Blakely is the executive director of the New Patriot Journal, which is the media arm of the Tea Party Patriots. Thanks, Shelby, for joining me. Thank you for having me. Let me tell you, you had some pretty strong quotes about Senator Brown uh, to the effect that we put you in there and we will take you out. Uh, tell me a little bit more about how you're going after Scott Brown. Well, uh, Scott Brown decided to vote with the Washington establishment the first time it actually counted. He campaigned on the idea that he would be the 41st vote against uh, government-run health care, and that never came to a floor vote. But when it came to TARP sequel, when it came to more irresponsible government spending, not only did he vote to and debate on the matter, he voted for final passage of the bill. So the Tea Party views this as... Uh, Scott Brown joining with the Washington establishment mm. as soon as mathematically possible, and uh, we expect that we will see him again in 2012. Well, you also told, I guess, the Boston Globe that, quote, his the career, Brown's career as a senator of the people lasted slightly longer than the shelf life of milk. Have you heard back from Senator Brown or any of his staff regarding uh, your, again, your very strong statements that you're going to go after him in 2012? Uh, no, we have not heard back, and if you, if, if, if you look back at his uh, acceptance speech, uh, his victory speech on uh, election night of January 19th, he did not mention nor thank the Tea Parties, and I why? guess now, now we know why. But wasn't that, a, as some might say, that was writing in the sand that you should have seen, because he, he downplayed, actually, his victory being because of the Tea Party. He more so positioned it as, a, as the people were tired of what was happening in Washington, but not specific to the Tea Party. Well, the Tea Party is because people are tired of what's happening in Washington. So I don't think you can really separate the two. And if he wants to downplay the Tea Party's role in his election, he can continue to do that, and we'll see how well he does in 2012. And are you genuinely surprised uh, by his, his recent actions? I mean, do, what did you expect? Uh, I am surprised that he voted for something as toxic as TARP. Hmm. Tark is the reason that Bob Bennett did not survive his own primary. He's, it's the reason McCain is doing so poorly. And to vote for a permanent uh, version of Tark is basically, it. he could have just as easily been in an office and voted for it then. If he had been in office then, we would be targeting him the same way that Bob Bennett was, the same way McCain is currently being targeted, and everyone who votes for increased irresponsible government spending. The bottom line is, if you voted for health care, you're gone. If you voted for TARP, you're gone. If you voted for TARP sequel, you're gone. It's too little, too late if you want to now come and try and court the Tea Party. For them, it's like rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. Well, you know, he's there now, and we'll see how uh, you will work out the relationship with him if there continues to be one. Uh, Shelby, we greatly appreciate you joining us. Thank you again. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, Minnesota is hit with some.